Ever wonder why Los Angeles is often the epicenter of earthquake news? The answer lies deep beneath the city in the Earth's crust. Los Angeles is uniquely positioned on the Pacific Plate, one of the many tectonic plates that make up our planet's surface. These plates are in constant motion, albeit at a pace slower than the growth of your fingernails. Now, imagine a boundary where two of these colossal plates meet. This is the San Andreas Fault, a fracture in the Earth's crust that stretches over 800 miles along the California coast and Los Angeles. It's sitting right on the edge of the Pacific Plate, adjacent to this mighty fault line. This location is both a blessing and a curse. It gifts Los Angeles with its beautiful mountains and coastlines, but it also makes the city a hotbed for seismic activity. The positioning of Los Angeles right on the edge of this massive tectonic plate is the key reason why the city is so prone to earthquakes. Now, the San Andreas Fault is not just any fault line, it's a behemoth that runs more than 800 miles through California. Imagine, if you will, a baseball. The stitching on that baseball, that's our San Andreas Fault. It's like a giant seam holding things together. Or picture a zipper, the teeth interlocking, holding two pieces of fabric together. This fabric of our world is the Earth's crust, divided into tectonic plates. Right here in California, we have the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. They meet at this zipper, our San Andreas Fault. These plates aren't static, oh no, they're always on the move. They shimmy past each other at a rate of about two inches per year. Doesn't seem like much, does it? But remember, we're talking geological timescales here, not human ones. Over decades, centuries, these tiny movements add up. They cause stress to build up along the fault line. It's like pulling a rubber band tighter and tighter. Eventually it has to give, and when it does, the earth shakes. So why does Los Angeles shake? It's not because the city has a case of the jitters. It's because it's sitting on the edge of two huge pieces of the earth's crust that are constantly moving, constantly building up stress. This constant movement and the resulting stress it creates is the source of the earthquakes we often experience in Los Angeles. So, how does the San Andreas Fault affect the city of Los Angeles? Well, let's dive into that. The San Andreas Fault is a tectonic boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. When the stress along this fault line reaches a breaking point, the energy is released in the form of an earthquake. These earthquakes are not gentle shivers, they are powerful shakes that can cause the ground to rupture and create seismic hazards. Now imagine these violent shakes in a city as bustling as Los Angeles. Buildings, bridges and other infrastructure aren't just static structures. They're part of a living, breathing city and they're not necessarily built to withstand the powerful forces unleashed by an earthquake. When the ground beneath them starts to shake, they can sustain significant damage. And it's not just the physical structures that bear the brunt. These earthquakes disrupt services from water and power to transportation and communication. This disruption, in turn, poses a risk to life safety, particularly in a city as densely populated as Los Angeles. So, if we think about it, the San Andreas Fault is both a blessing and a curse for Los Angeles. It's part of the city's unique geological identity, shaping its landscape and even influencing its climate. But at the same time, it presents a significant challenge for the city's inhabitants and infrastructure. So, while the San Andreas Fault gives Los Angeles its unique geological identity, it also presents a significant challenge for the city's inhabitants and infrastructure.